We're testing the Winchester PDX-1 Defender in 357 SIG, 125 grain, bonded jacketed hollow point. As you can see there, the test platform is going to be the Glock 32 4-inch barrel using the SimTest Media calibrated to ballistic gel specs plus four layers of denim. The production date for this video is October of 2011. Relative to that, this is somewhat of a newer product in the Winchester lineup. It was released just earlier this year. So I'm not finding a whole lot of data points and information on it, which puts a lot of pressure on what I'm trying to do tonight. One data point I can share with you, it is a warm load. Out of the 4-inch barrel Glock 32, my 5-shot chronograph average is 1,326 feet per second. That is just slightly below the advertised of 1,350, so that is not too bad. One thing I don't like to do, but I need to point it out because it is a fact, at least for the box of 20 that I purchased, I've got some packing material or tumbling media embedded in the hollow point cavity. Not just that one, but every other bullet, if not 60% uh, of what was in this box. So just a reminder, you need to carefully inspect everything that you're loading into your handgun, including those full metal jackets, because there are manufacturing defects. It doesn't happen that often. But just make sure you catch those before you get yourself into some bigger trouble. Okay, point of comparison here. That's the 357 SIG PDX-1 on the left that we're going to test. And that looks very similar on the right, doesn't it? That's not a PDX. That is the Ranger T-Series. 9mm, 124 grain, so just a little bit of difference there. But uh, it looks very similar. I'm seeing all types of discussion comparing the PDX-1 and the Ranger T-Series, uh, whether or not they're the same bullet, if they are, if one's replacing the other, and so forth. So uh, in your comments, I hope you'll help us all out in that regard to give us some good information. I need some help from you there. Okay, uh, what do I expect out of this? It's a bonded bullet, so I expect very good penetration. It's uh, going to stay together, no jacket separation. I think it's going to penetrate deep because it has some pretty good velocity behind it. I just hope it doesn't over penetrate. So we're going to toss this from an incredible distance of 10 feet into the SimTest Media plus four layers of denim, which is an IWBA protocol. First indoors test, a 357 SIG, and even with hearing protection, that's a little bit intense. Excellent shot placement, and it's in the block. Here's the tail of the tape. I'm working with the right side of the path as I was cutting through the block. There's the left side up there. This one's more complete, and this is where we find the prize, by the way. So point of entry, denim coming through here, and about an inch and a half to two inches in, we finally start to see some expansion. It penetrated that far before it really started uh, making its work here. And this is pretty nasty. Uh, as I've mentioned in earlier videos, this discoloration represents where there's been some stress in this media, but it didn't rip open as it obviously did here. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's really getting deep in there. By the way, this cavity beginning here over to this point runs 3.35 inches. And from here, at its uh, widest point, to there is 0.85. So pretty impressive in that area. So it settles down at this point. We're motoring along. And I hit it with the knife. At this point, that's about 12 inches. And that's a lot less, a lot less than I thought that was going to be. But once I cut this out, get my final measurement, the leading edge is going to come in right about 12 inches. And if I can find my pointer, there it is. Let's get caught up. It did expand. We'll take a closer look at that before I get the measurements. And there is a plug of denim there in what's remaining of the hollow point cavity. Final measurement is 12 inches even, and that's really cutting it close. But that's where that leading edge had landed. There's that plug of denim. And once I take this over to post-op and get it cleaned up, we'll see whether or not there is a cavity there or if it's just planted there on the top. One other thing, you'll see this in a close-up in just a moment those patented Winchester talons and they are sharp. There's one of your expansion points but the average is 0.673 inches. Retained weight is 124.5 grains.
It's difficult to go wrong with bonded bullets, and while I've had occasions where these failed to open or open fully, that was certainly not the case here. This nearly doubled in diameter. That's quite impressive regardless of caliber. And I think because of that expansion that we lost momentum sooner and it stopped at that 12 inch mark. The 12 inches, by the way, that's going to be an acceptable minimum for a lot of folks, and that's fine. That's your call. You also have a pretty good energy transfer on a target because this is coming in just below its advertised specs. Thanks for watching.